His Baltimore Ravens team is yeah. playing incredible football right Ooh. now. Most specifically, Lamar Jackson yep. is playing incredible football right now. They took the brand new Lions. Lions into the deep end, beat the hell out of them, and said, you're the same old Lions yeah. to me. What do we know about this Baltimore Ravens team now that says, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Lamar Jackson-led Ravens might be the team in the end that's standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Kansas City Chiefs. And I don't even think we've seen the best of them yet. You know, he is in midseason four, Lamar Jackson, new O.C., Todd Monkey was a lot of talk about that coming into the year, but he's top of the league, top three in the league, completion percentage, big plays, just was in full control yesterday against a good Lions team. Uh, most of us probably expected this to be one of the best games mm -hmm. uh, on that early slate yesterday, and he just dominated from uh, beginning to end. And that defense, that defense is one of the best defenses in the league, has been all year long. Pass catchers getting healthy. Uh, I don't think we've seen the best of this Ravens team yet. Ravens beat the Lions yesterday 38-6. to Jeez. 38-6. Friend of the program, Kyle Van Noy, two sacks, five tackles. Ooh. Absolute dog. dog off the couch, and he's back. Lamar Jackson throws to his 357 and three touchdowns. Now, the check to Gus Edwards was like an 80-yard yeah. thing, mm -hmm. but it don't matter when he throw for 357. Who cares? They were protecting him against that Detroit Lions defensive line, and he's been hitting his targets. Not only Zay, Odell Beckham Jr. got in the yep. action yep. yesterday a little bit. Patrick Ricard had a big-time reception, mm -hmm. and Lamar Jackson's always going to be able to do this, even though old Cus Staley takes Bud into the front row. You let Lamar run. You let Lamar throw. You let Lamar dance around for 10 seconds for a play. <laughs> There's a good chance something <laughs> great is coming from it. Yeah. Another touchdown. Lamar Jackson was at his peak yesterday. And during the conversations of negotiations, he wanted to showcase that he's also a pocket passer. Their previous OC was running the same plays, and everybody knew exactly what they were going to do. Now it's kind of expanding the playbook a little bit. Mm -hmm. Lamar's getting through his reads. He's a little bit more accurate on those 15 to 25-yard balls. He's able to check it down when he has to to big dogs like Mark Andrews, who's always open, it feels like, for him. This offense in this Lamar Jackson is a horse that's ready to ride for a long time. Gus Edwards would pull this one away and take off for a nice 80-yard scamper for a massive gain. Is, is that a D lineman yeah, running? Kaminsky, yeah, bro. Kaminsky. Hey, hey, Kaminsky, way to go there. Honestly, way to chase that thing down. But everything that Lamar Jackson did yesterday seemed to be perfect. And is this what you guys are expecting in the AFC North for the rest of the way? Because, Tone Diggs, I got some bad news for you. Even though you go beat the Rams yeah. and the Steelers are currently 4-2, yeah, and two, after a bye, they're obviously flawless. And Matt Canada was celebrating touchdowns. Oh, yeah. And uh, Kenny, Pickens, uh, uh, Kenny Pickett went for 200 and some yards. Yeah. Pickett went, or Pickens went for over 100. 300 total yards in the offense. Najee Harris wow. had two, and Ooh, Warren yeah. had one. I mean, it was an offensive juggernaut that can. The quarterback didn't throw for one. Wide receivers didn't score a touchdown, but still scored a bunch of points. you got to be worried about this Baltimore Ravens team playing their best football right now. Yeah, they are the team in the AFC North. If When you beat the Lions by five, five, man, five it's touchdowns, five, man. man. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what it was. That's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, because they, they don't – like the Steelers, they wait to the fourth quarter. Kenny's awesome in the fourth quarter. They beat the Ravens, but, I mean, that was – there was like eight drop balls for Lamar in that. He probably could have passed for 350 in that one. The Ravens are the worry in the AFC North right now. I can promise you that. Okay, so let's talk about Lamar. Not only is his past game great yesterday, you get back a couple weeks now. Yeah. He's starting to really start to sling it. This is the evolution of Lamar. And Lamar's probably saying, it's been here the whole time. We mm -hmm. just haven't used it. Yep. This offense is seemingly setting him up to ball out perfectly. And they're setting him in the run game. Like, I feel like sometimes with the runs in the previous regime, that's when Lamar was saying they know what we're doing. These runs are, you know, different. But in that fourth and one little QB keeper over there, yeah. that was perfect. And then you even talk about if some people – People think the Lions defense is a little banged up. They put 28 on the Cleveland Browns, too, in Cleveland. So this really well, might be one of the better Baltimore teams we've seen. I, I got some interesting stats from Hembo about the Philadelphia Eagles. And, you know, they, the New Heights podcast fans are called 92 percenters. That's right. Because that was the success rate of the Tush Push Brotherly Shove yeah. uh, last year. Now it is 93%. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, so they are now Bump it. 93. Yeah, they are 41 of 44 on the push sneak in the last two seasons. No other team has more than 11, obviously. They are at 93%. For context, Steph Curry is a 91% career free throw shooter, oh, says yeah. Hembo. Incredible stat there. And then you remember this play was supposed to get banned this mm -hmm. past offseason because yep. it's easy, it's rugby, it's this, it's that. Listen to Coach Sirianni chit-chat about the tush push and the brotherly shove in which they are 41 of 44 on in the last two seasons wow. and no other team has more than 11. It's first and nine every down. You know, every first down is first and nine. Um, 
knowing that if you get the fourth, the fourth and one, um, shoot, a lot of faith in that play. Um, just be, you know, yeah. So um, it, it was awesome. Again, just Jason Kelsey starts it off. Jalen Hurts, uh, you know, is right there. You know, haven't been able to drive because you've seen it, right? You've seen it across the league that people can't do it like we can do it. Okay. They can't do it like we can do it. And uh, and so I'm making my plug right there. Like, <laughs> don't don't ban this play. Like, if everyone could do it. Everybody would. Where's the camera? If everybody would do it, everybody would do it. I love that he's sticking up for his team, but it is a real talent. Oh, yeah. It's like yeah. a skill that they have. Dude. And every time I watch it, I just think of Jason Kelsey's old ass, okay, laying down there at the bottom of the pile. I know. Slowly getting up from, like, watching his documentary now. It's like his entire body hurts, and it's like, hey, bub, you need to get underneath this 900 pounds, <laughs> yeah. and then when everybody else is on top of you, just lay there and take it. Everybody's happy. We scored a touchdown. You'll be happy in a minute. Try to gather your breath, hold your breath, mm -hmm. and then just take it. He's down there at the bottom with his head side. Yeah, right there. That's, him at the, that's <laughs> New Heights host Jason Kelsey <laughs> down there at the bottom of that thing with everybody just diving at his knees whenever it starts and we're diving directly at the back of his skull as he's trying to get in there. It's a tough play. It showcases, though, what this Eagles team is, which is, hey, we are physical. And in the First fourth man. quarter, on their own 25, fourth and one. You're up a touchdown mm -hmm. against Miami Dolphins that could score at any moment. Mm -hmm. Five minutes left or something like that. Are you going to do it or not? It's like Sirianni. I could hear him going, you know what we're doing. What are we even talking about? Come on. Send it out. Push. Mm -hmm. Shove. Whatever you want to call it. We're doing it right now. And they pick up four. And there was one last night they picked up like seven oh, yards yeah. Yeah. on it. And there's one where it looked like they were stopped. And then all of a sudden we are gone yeah. with it. It's an incredible feat. I love watching them do it. Old school football. And I appreciate the fact that they recognize that it's an advantage. It's first and nine every mm -hmm. time we That's get great. the ball. That's a real thought. You get a three-foot advantage over everybody else whenever you have those dogs doing that thing. And it's no and usually, you know, you have something on tape, you know, for what's just going on for damn near two years now. Some some defensive mind, somebody figures something out to stop it, but it's just it's the person. No, like yeah. you mentioned yeah. Kelsey, and then they bump in Lane Johnson, you know, from his usual right tackle spot and kind of put him at their left guard. And he gets behind and push. A.J. Brown, big ass, is behind Hurts as well, who squats 600. So it's the personnel. We saw Steelers sneak away with one. Uh, well, it's the Rams. Man. Which, we'll dive you know, into that. Yeah. We will dive into that. It's tough. You can't, okay. you can't copy it. Hey, let's not even – I don't want to, like, just kind of dismiss the defense. You know, because Darius Slay gets that big-time pick in the fourth Sweet as well mm -hmm. to kind of set that entire thing up. He's a great player. Had a tough matchup with Tyreek through it all. But, I mean, you're up one tud. They're in the red zone. Ooh. Boom, give me that. Let me get out of here and let me go eat a little bit. Like, their defense has been dominant. We yeah. talk about the Rhino, Jalen Carter, and Cox, and everybody in the middle there.